Safe guys, uh, so I have gone and taken some time to think about some things that I might have wanted to know when I started making drum and bass uh, and everything else and I thought, I know that everyone loves Kings of the Rollers and everyone seems to love Foghorns and Rollers whatever, the, whatever you want to call them it is drum and bass at the end of the day um, and so I've made, or I'm going to show you guys how to make like basic rollery um, foghorn -y kind of sounds using quite basic sound design really and then just Camel Crusher uh, which is a free distortion plugin um, but yeah let's just go into this uh, project So I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make this second sound here, very voltagey, quite like a bumpy, plucky, rolly, rollery sound. Um, yeah, so let's let's get into it. So without any post processing, and it's literally just this. It, this is the sound by itself. Kind of sounds like a deep house, um, like pluck, whatever. Anyway, let's open up a, a new uh, instance of Serum here and get into this. Obviously, I don't edit these videos because I don't really see the point in jump cutting when it's a tutorial. Uh, so, you know, if I fumble on words or anything like that, uh, I do apologize. <laughs> anyway, right. So this is um, Serum. If you've not used Serum, get it. It's good. It's really good synth to start out with if you're making music. Um, I know that some people go to Massive first for drum and bass, but personally I went with Serum. Um, but yeah, right. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get basic shapes up onto Oscillator 1. We're going to want to take the octave down. Uh, make sure the sub is on. Take that down two octaves. And... We should have this sound now. Why is it? Ah, oh, I've not put the MIDI there. Nice one, Ollie. It's a basic sub. Um, and then we're going to go to the envelope here. We're just going to drag this out to about 400 milliseconds. Uh, somewhere around there like that. And then we're going to get a trusty old sync. And it's just sync, no window, normal, regular, basic sync. Um, and we're going to set this to 50, no, <laughs> 5.69, uh, or just anywhere around that area. And it should now sound like this. Just another, ba just a quite basic sound really. And with the LFO, uh, we're going to get our LFO shape. We're going to kind of make it into a, like a ramped up sort of like a, pluck you know just a regular plucky i mean if you want to start from here you can do but the patch i made initially looks like this if you want to go any other way with the sound you can do you want to do what you want you can uh we're going to make sure that it is only it's not triggering it's not repeating it's on envelope mode uh mono because if we're going to be plucking we want to make sure we can be able to be, that we can do that without the uh sounds clashing um and that should be it and then just the distortion going into effects you just want to turn this up to I think it was like 21 so pretty much leave it there actually you don't even have to change it just whack it on and then again you know you can do what you want with pre post you know it's such a basic sound um, and I'm sure if you go into the effects even more then you might be able to get a much better sound out of it but for people who are just trying to understand how Kings of the Rollers boo uh, myself voltage all of these producers are making these really like fat distorted sounds um i mean a lot of my upcoming production has it so if you're watching this video the day of release not really that very not very many of my songs is that english it it doesn't matter anyway none of my released songs currently have sound design like this uh so once we've done that the bass it just sounds like it just sounds shit it just 
really bare, nothing's on it. We're going to add Camel Crusher. Uh, I'll put the link in the description for Camel Crusher because it is brilliant. I use it a lot, especially for Jump Up and some of my newer tracks like this one. Um, you can use whatever preset fits. God, I'm just trying to got really bad indigestion. Uh, you can use whatever preset you like for it. I used Annihilate for this, and I also use Annihilate in a lot of my other tunes uh, on some of my sound design and stuff. But now the sound should be sounding like this. So it, re it literally making a really basic patch and then putting Camel Crusher on it changes it completely. Like you wouldn't think it's just so bare minimum and then you whack this on and now you've got that really fat sound uh, that you can you know take to hospitality the beach or rampage and just whack it on at full volume uh but yeah so that is the tutorial uh i will be releasing a pack in the future with the first bass because i'm sure people will be wanting it because that is really the rollery foghorny shit sound um but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, I don't know if it's short or long or what, but um, yeah, that's that. And if you're wondering about the drums, I almost forgot to plug. I have put together a new drum pack for you guys. It will be available on my Patreon only. Um, a demo will be going up soon, but if you would like the pack in general, subscribe to my Patreon. It's like three dollars a month you get access to these little mini kit packs like this one uh it's basically snappy drum and bass so like boo uh voltage uh and myself as well i use all of these samples in all of my productions it's really nice finger snappy drums and that um so yes the link will be in this the link will be in the description for my patron for camel crusher uh, my SoundCloud, obviously, and if you want to go and support me on either of those links, you can. Definitely check out Camel Crusher. If you're a new producer, it's free. I can't stress that enough that it is free. There's so many VST plugins that aren't free. Um, and I mean, a lot of them are worth paying for. But it's just the fact that it's free, it's just a really easy tool. I, don't, I just feel like everyone should have it. There's no re There's really no excuse unless you're running a Mac and it doesn't work on Mac. I'm pretty sure it does, but I'm not sure. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, and yeah, comment what kind of sound design and stuff you want to know next. Peace.